Yo YouTube guys, what is up? It's Crossblade D here guys, and um, this is going to be a tutorial video. I actually wanted to make this tutorial for a while now, and guys, the tutorial, sorry guys, I'm stuff. the tutorial is actually going to be on how to make this. Now this is very simple, this, maybe, this, maybe, this, sorry, wait, maybe this, maybe that, that, yeah, you get the point. So guys, basically here we go. So guys, basically what you guys want to do is obviously open up your Photoshop. Let me find mine real quick. Um, where's the mug at? Where's the Photoshop? Mm, in professional, in professional, I can't find my beautiful Photoshop. There you go. Photoshop. Guys, this is a very simple tutorial, and I guys, I just wanted to do this tutorial for a while now because I've been getting a lot of feed, like a lot of notifications about doing this. So, guys, what, to start off this, all you guys are gonna want to do is go to File, New, and put your thing to 500 height, width by 500 by 500. Put the background as white, make it pixels, and click OK. All right. So now what we're gonna want to do is import the thing. One well, arm. Um, our logo so mine is turn I made the t I made the turn logo so let's import that we're gonna go to the files and TTPP that's it all right so guys let me drag that into this this is the original turn logo drag it in there and yeah let's make it bigger hold um press control T and hold shift all right after that guys what you guys are gonna want to do is go down to your pen tool right down here on the left side of the screen Go to your pen tool and then let me zoom in. Control plus plus, and yeah, you'll zoom in. And basically, what you're gonna want to do is just outline the text. Sorry, guys. What you're gonna do is just outline the text of the um your logo. And yeah, um, I'm I'm not gonna fa actually I'm gonna fast forward this. Alright guys, now that we're done with that, um, basically all you're going to want to do is keep it like that. And then after that, you guys are going to want to import a picture. So basically, import a picture that you want to be the inside of the picture. So let's just type in Patrick PNG. Alright, so we're just going to find a cool picture. Um, let's see, we'll take this one. The boy hitting the, no, no, not like this one. Now watch me wait. Oh yeah. All right, save that. And then we're gonna get a picture of bikini bottom. Bikini bottom. No, um, that's not what I was looking for. Sorry guys about that. Um, not what I'm looking for. So just ignore those pictures. Um, yeah, just ignore those pictures, please. Uh, yeah, let me exit out of that. All right, sorry about that. So guys, basically go to file, open. And go to desktop and let me find Patrick the star. Where's Patrick the star? Patrick, hold control to hold it. And then click on that. And so I open two files. There you go. Alright, now double click on that to make it an a normal item so you can move around and stuff. Drag it into the TTP, whatever yours is. Or no, sorry. Drag that in all the way to your the white background. Drag that in and that's gonna that's what it's gonna look like. And let me press Control T. No, no, sorry. Don't press Control T. So, guys, on the top left up here, it's gonna say Show Transform Controls. Hold that. Hold Shift. And yeah, move it up and down as the way you want. And um, press the Move Tool over here. Click Apply. Click Show Transform Controls. And sorry if I'm talking really fast. I don't know. That's just how I do my Photoshop. And so now, now that you've done that, go to Patrick and drag Patrick into the picture. And yeah, press control. No, nope. Go to show transform controls again. Make hold hold shift. Make it drag it as big as you want. And yeah, there we go. That looks good. It looks good. All right. So basically, whatever is that that T in outline, whatever that's in, that's what's gonna go in. So basically, go over to the right of your screen where it says the um where it says all the layers. Hold control. Hold click on both items. Press control E. That'll merge the items together. All right. I have to go back after you do that. Go back to the pen tool. Okay, let me slow it down. Go back to the pen tool and just right click at the bottom here. 
the convert path to extrude. Um, you guys have to have this. I forgot what kind of Photoshop this is. But you have to have um extended version or 3D um enabled. So yeah, after you done that, it looks pretty good right now. And actually, no, it looks cheap. See all these like rigid edges and stuff. We're gonna get rid of that very soon. See like those um yeah jagged edges. Those don't look too good. So basically, what you're gonna do to get rid of that, come over to the layers over here, right click, go down to render. Render will make it look so good. Oh, sorry guys. And before I do that, t this shadow down here doesn't look too good. So basically, click on it, click on it, go up here to cast shadows, the the bottom one, and you're good to go. Right click, go to render again. Let's go. And then it'll render. And yeah. I'll be right back. And before we, before the render completes, as you guys can see, the the edges are clearing up. And honestly, I didn't look up any tutorials how to do that. I just, I was thinking if the edge, edges look like jaggedy. Okay, there we go. All right, so basically, okay, if you guys can see. Um, let me click on the TN logo. So if you guys can see these like blue outline on, that's our old one. So after you, you can just delete that one. You don't really need that one anymore. Delete, and there it gets rid of those jagged edges. All right. So now that we have a pretty nice looking logo, press Control T, convert. And yeah, you can move that how you want. And um, now if you guys like how on mine you can see those like blurry edges on the side of them, like all you do is right click. Actually, no, sorry, go up to the top of the filter, go to, um, distort, ripple, and yeah, it'll ripple it. That looks pretty nice. Alright, so after you've done that, um, zoom in, control plus, and now we're going to add our text. Um, I'm just going to type in patty, change the color of the text to pink or something, red, patty looks fine. Alright, patty, and, uh. Let's go change the font. I, I feel like I'm going extremely fast right now. Sorry, guys, if I am. Oh, sorry, guys. I was uh, looking for a nice font. Actually, I'm going to go this one. Long shot. Okay, that looks fine. All right, so now that you have your font, um, you're going to want to distort the text because it'll look way cooler. So just, you know, make your text bigger up here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, now up here, a lot of people miss this. Um, go to your text layer, and you're still clicking on your text. And up here, you see this like little bin text tool. Click on the none, and then you can start distorting the text how you would like to. And um, I usually have been going with this one recently, going with that one, and going like this or something like that. But um, I'm gonna try to mix it up this video. Let's go with twist. No, actually, no, no. no. This doesn't look too good. Let's go. I usually go with no, not arc. Where is it? I usually go with flag. Flag usually looks the best for me. It's gonna be kind of hard because the the text is so different. Patty. Okay, I'll take that. That's fine. All right. So make your text a little bit bigger. Now, um, I am actually kind of sick right now, so yeah, um, I really have a bit, like, yeah, never mind. So basically, that looks fine. Put it right there. Looks great. Alright. Now, to change the blending options, all you're going to do is go over here. Go to blending options. Move and drag this down so it doesn't be in your way. Click on granite overlay. Click on the little black and white thing. And there you have all your layers. And, um, I actually have, like, a bunch of presets you can download. It's called, um... It's called a uh, granite granite pack or something. Great, no gradient pack. Gradient pack. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Inner glow makes it look so nice. And let's add a dark blue. And then let's add a drop shadow. Distance to zero. That looks fine. Actually, no. Let's change the gradient overlay. Change that to pink. No, I'm trying to match a color with Patrick. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Now I'll go to inner glow again. Let's change that to uh maybe blue. Light blue. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. Okay. 
No, actually, no. You just gotta mess around with this kind of because, like, I want it to look pretty good. Yeah, that looks great. That looks great. That looks great. All right, I'm just gonna leave it as that. All right, now that we're done. Now that we're here. So now that we're men, we can do anything. All right. So now that we have that, um, we're basically done with that part of the tutorial. And yeah, we can actually blur this one too. Ripple, distort, pinch. I'm gonna pinch this one. Pinch. Oopsie, no, that's off. I do pinch. All right, I just filter, distort, ripple. Ripple looks. Ripple always looks nice. Ripple always looks nice. All right, there we go. That looks great, guys. It looks great. All right, so now that we're done with that, go to file, save as. Oopsie, guys. File, save as, JPEG, name it, um, TN, Patty. All right, that looks great. Desktop, save. All right, now this is the other part of the tutorial. You guys are probably gonna have to download this if you haven't had it yet. Now this is the part of the tutorial where it's called Magic Bullet Looks. I use this. This is what gives it that like burst out effect and like it makes see this is this is what the plane looks like this it's gonna look way better after so basically if you guys like it like that go ahead but if you guys want it to look like let me show you guys kind of like this how like dark bursts and stuff and then keep watching the tutorial so after you download magic bullet looks just turn um this is how you spell it just look it up on youtube how to download it and um how to get like some looks because you have to download looks and stuff and yeah just search up that so let's get started so I'll get a file open image go to desktop type in TN patty and it'll show up right there after you do that open it up and yeah there it goes that looks pretty good right now and so we're gonna make it look nicer so if we're gonna go to looks and um, download a cool pack that you want and um, let's start messing around see that already makes it look fire let's keep looking around See if there's any other ones. I usually go with um seven a lot. No, no, I usually go with um fourteen. Fourteen's really nice usually. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna go with fourteen. All right, let's go to fourteen. And now we're just gonna add some matte. Um, add some cool effects to it. Actually, no, let's go to lens. Lens is usually good. And let's add some blue. Let's add some blue. Now this this part of the tutorial looks really nice. I really enjoyed doing this part. I had a nice color. I got rid of it by accident. All right, T and Patty. Okay. Now after that, go to um softness. This gives it the blur effect on the top and bottom. See like see how it looks. All right. Now let's add a distortion. It makes it zoom in, zoom out. I'm gonna zoom this one in. T and Patty, and zoom it out a little bit. But give it that pop. Boom. And then we got another distortion. Zoom that one back in so it gives it, it does not too popping out. And yeah, let's distort that a little bit less. Okay, that looks great. That looks great. Now, all we're going to do is file. You can still mess with all these fat, um, stuff like saturation and like uh, mega blue and stuff. But yeah, I think I'm done with that. So let's file. Save image as. Um, magic Patty. There we go. Oops, I didn't spell it right. Oh, well. save and it's on our desktop. So let's check it out. So this is was the original one. That's how that one looked, and this is our new one. And I think this one looks better. All right, so that's how you do that, guys. That's basically the tutorial. Um, I don't know how I'm so good at doing this stuff, but yeah, um, that's how you guys do that basically. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and always remember. Stay crusty. This is a quick little tutorial. If I were talking slow, it would have been like 30 minutes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.